Hey friends, so today we're gonna talk hair. And I've always been really picky about my hair. Sorry if it's echoing in here in the bathroom. Uh, but I'm gonna share with you what I do in order to style my hair and some of the products that I've been using lately. So um, since we've moved to Colorado, the air is so dry. I've I'm having to try to put more moisture into my hair, and so that's been an issue for me. I mean, I, I love the, the dry climate because my hair does pretty good most of the time, but since it's getting colder and we've got, been having the heat on, it's starting to get dried out. So I've been on the search for some really good products, so I'm gonna share those with you. So I hope you stay to the end, and let's get started. Okay. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do anything obscene. <laughs> but I did get some new products that I am not being sponsored. I bought these myself, I tried them myself, and I thought that you might like to get them, especially this time of year when we've got, you know, winter coming and the heat's gonna be on and our hair is gonna get drier. My hair, I have a struggle with it getting too dry since we've moved to Colorado. Um, so, today, did my hair, loving it. Let me tell you what I did. I ordered this. This is Madison Reed, and you've probably heard of the hair color. I have never tried the hair color, but this is the Shine Reviving Gloss, and this is the Glassa color. It's clear shine. I put this on my hair this morning. I left it on. It was on dry hair. Um, left it on for 30 minutes, and then I rinsed my hair out. Um, I didn't wash it. I just put a bunch of conditioner in it, and it hasn't looked like this in a long time. So um, I don't know how frequently you can use this, um, it says each tube contains two applications. Um, don't remember how much I paid for it. I'm thinking it was, it's a little pricey, maybe $28, but hey, I am loving it. So this is the Madison Reed Shine Reviving Gloss, and it does not put any color in your hair, so all of us can definitely use that this time of year. Then I bought another Madison Reed product. And again, I am not being sponsored by Madison Reed. Madison Reed, if you wanna come and sponsor me, I'll try some more of your products. But this is called Color Therapy. And it's a colorless conditioning hair mask. And this is the Pura, which has no color in it. Now you can get both of these products with color in them, but I didn't want to add any color. I just wanted, you know, to shine my hair up a little bit more. So this is a color, this is a, a hair mask that you can use once a week, and you just shampoo, squeeze out excess water, apply generously, wait five minutes, and rinse. And so this was also really nice in putting a little bit more moisture into my hair. So I totally recommend these two products. They're new to me, not being sponsored, y'all. Um, Madison Reed is not super, super cheap, but let's see, I got both of these on Amazon. And you can also go through their, their website. They have a Madison Reed website. Um, I'm real tempted to try their hair color and just see if I could do it myself. I've done my hair, you know, color before with just a, a box color, but I haven't gotten brave enough to do that yet. So anyway, these are awesome. And they're probably coming out backwards. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But we've got the Shine Reviving Gloss, Clear Shine Glassa, no color, and then the Color Therapy Colorless Conditioning Hair Mask in the Pura, no color. Easy to use. There you go. And I like my hair. <laughs> I'm so picky about my hair. Okay, so we're talking hair today, and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I use on a regular basis 
in my hair care product line. <laughs> Again, nothing is being sponsored. This is all Kathy, so. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things, especially since I color my hair, is I always use this Nexus Color Assure Conditioner and Shampoo. You can find it at Walmart. It's, you know, a little bit more than most shampoos and conditioners. I think I can get the, usually the, and you can get it on Amazon too. Um, I usually get the conditioner and the shampoo for like, I'm saying $16, $17 for both. So not each, but for both together. So um, I really like this. It uh, does a great job. It, my hair does not like to hold color. And so I'm always looking for something that's not gonna strip the color out of my hair because I try to extend it as long as possible until the grays catch up with me. So I like this Nexus product. I also have tried recently this Kenra Volumizing Conditioner and it's Maximize Volume. Now I do like this but I don't like it for every day. So this might be something, cause it really, I don't know, it sort of flattens your hair out. And if that's what you want, I like, a, you know, I'm a Southern girl. I like a little poof. So I don't want my hair too, too flat. And so this might be something that I personally would use about once a week or I have also mixed the two. And so it gives you a smooth look, but also nice and conditioned. Uh, any of the Kenra products are usually really, really good. Um, the hairspray that I like, and it may be too crunchy for some of you, if you like your hair soft, I want my hair to hold. So, you know, it's a little crunchy. It's not too, too crunchy. It's not Aquanet crunchy, but I use this John Frieda Frizz Ease um, Moisture Barrier Hairspray Firm Hold, 24 hour hold and humidity resistance. Now, when I was living in Tennessee, I had, I had to have this. Now that I'm in Colorado, the air is a lot drier here. Um, it may be drying my hair out a little bit, but I do like the hold that it gives me. So, cause when I, you know, once I get finished with my hair and I like it a little poofy, I, you know, that's just me. Um, this will hold it so that it doesn't just go like that. <laughs> so I like this Frizzies uh, hairspray. And then there's one other thing that I have tried recently that I also like for my hair and it's the Kenra Root Lifting Spray. And um, it's just a little spray, it's not a foam. So when I get out, I comb my hair after I've got out of the shower and I just spray a little bit around the crown. Um, don't go too heavy with this. Um, I think just a light amount is really best, but this is very nice. It'll give you some poof, and uh, but not too poofy, right? <laughs> so the Kenra Root Lifting Spray. So if you need something that's gonna lift your roots up, this is a good one to try also. Now, um, I got both of these on Amazon, so that might be a little bit less expensive than if you got them through your hairstylist or through your hair salon. Uh, the Frizzies, Walmart usually carries this. Walmart does carry the Nexus, so, um, and also you can get those on Amazon as well, so whatever works for you. So, that is, a list of some of my hair care products. Okay, now I used to blow my hair dry and then go back through with a curling iron and curl every little piece. <laughs> and I would spray hairspray on them so they would hold, you know, depending on um, how short or long my hair was at the time. But this is kind of my go-to haircut and um, I, I tweak it a little bit. <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm still looking for a hairstylist. I've been to one girl and she was good, but not exactly how I like my hair. So anyway, still on the hunt for somebody. But I, um, I always, always, and this is easy peasy as far as styling your hair. I always have for years used these 
dry curling wands. I guess that's what it's a it's a drying wand or drying curling wand. I don't know what you call it. This particular one is Revlon and I like it. Um, I haven't had it too long. It uh, has, you can take the top, the big roller out. It's got the little dryer end. So like the back of my hair, I'll use that. And then if you want a tighter curl in your hair, it's got a smaller one. So I like this one a lot. Um, it also has several settings on it. Again, I'm not being sponsored. This is just Kathy's opinion. It's got cool air, which is nice if, you know, sometimes you get it so hot, you feel like your hair is gonna catch on fire. Um, and then it's got a low, hot, and then a high, hot. So um, I really like this. And then once I'm finished with my hair, once I've dried it, I'm done. I just, you know, run my fingers through it, poof it up a little bit, um, put some spray on it, I'm, I'm ready. I don't have to go through with the curling iron anymore because of these things and I love them. Now I have not tried those newfangled drying brush kind of things for my hair because it's not that long. I don't know if that would work, but I totally love these. So, okay y'all, that's my hair story. I hope that you enjoyed this. It's a little bit different for me, but I thought, you know what? I'm such a weirdo about my, <laughs> my hair. I've always been a weirdo about my hair. I don't want you to mess my hair up. <laughs> Let's just say that. I don't wear I don't wear hats because I look like a fool in a hat. <laughs> and I don't want to mess my hair up. So there have been a lot of times I probably could have gone swimming, but I didn't want to mess my hair up. So anyhow, um, I do my hair every day. I, I don't wash it with shampoo every day, but I do my hair every day. I rinse it, I put some conditioner in it, and I rinse it out, and I dry it just about every day. Sometimes I'll hold over one extra day, but for the most part, and I have done that since I was a teenager. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that this gives you some ideas of some products that you can use, especially this winter, as we are needing to get a little bit more oomph in our hair and, um, and not have all that staticky stuff either. That drives me nuts. <laughs> if you like this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, this is a little bit different content for me. I'm trying to do a few different things for y'all. So let me know if, in the comments if you enjoyed this. And uh, I guess I'm ready to rock and roll now. I got my hair done and my makeup done and my sweatshirt on. So I'm ready for a big day. <laughs> You guys, I hope this video finds you happy and healthy, and I guess that's it. So, you guys take care, have a fabulous day, and I'll send you big old hugs. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.